Hi guys, Paul from VA Brew News. Got a beer here from something that I saw on our travels down to uh, Colebrookdale Railroad. This is something more local to the southeastern part of PA. From what I can see, I did see, uh, see it for sale also when I was near the Trogues area. This is Workhorse Brewing Company. Made right, it says. New England style India Pale Ale coming in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. Not a big fan of the New England style, uh, New England IPA title. I think it actually does a lot of times if you don't have a certain exactly, if you're expecting a, a so big pillowy lactose sweetness, this and this, very huge, big, huge um, fruit notes, zero bitterness essentially, like how the New England style IPA started. You know what I mean? That, that kind of definition of the style. When you don't get that, you kind of go, oh, you know what I mean? So it's a letdown, even though the beer is really good. So it almost kind of does a disservice, that title. So I would have much rather this thing called Hazy IPA, but it might be a fucking fantastic New England style IPA. So let's fucking get into it. You know what I mean? I'm just getting that rant out of the way right. I just figured let's get that right out of the way. We don't have to worry about it then. Okay, so this is from King of Prussia, PA, outside of Philadelphia. A huge mall there, if you don't know. If you're not from the area, King of Prussia has a massive mall. I don't know what's in it anymore. I know malls all over America are dying, but um, that one had a big old bastard in it. Nice looking beer. bit of haze to it so not very hazy soft haze weird soft haze all right king of prussia proudly handcrafted in king of prussia pennsylvania cheers 6.7 alcohol by volume our mission simply put is to make sure your beer is made right we take a no-nonsense approach to classic beer styles that are bro uh <clears throat> broadly appealing and consistently delicious. I don't know if New England style IPA would be classified as a classic beer style, but you never know. Chuck it in a little bit more. Swirl around just in the sea since it might be not getting the haze it's supposed to have. That's about as hazy as it's going to get. Okay, so that's different. All right, got the Yorkolo glass here. Yorkolo, Mansfield, Pennsylvania. South meets north on Pennsylvania. PA Brunis, baby. All right, right there. Let's get into it. Cheers. Okay. Dish wash, dish, uh, dish soap. Uh, that that sounds bad, but it's not. But that floral citrus tonality from like a good dish, dish, uh, dish washing soap. Always loved that when I got it in beers. Absolutely. That bright bright lemon citrus quality floral tonality a little perfuming almost you know earthy pepperiness is coming through this some spiciness cheers tangerine yeah tangerine again that almost hint of a, a pithy lemon Earthy pepperiness wafting through there, a little bit of softest bit of a perfumey tone. <clears throat> Pretty dry beer. Soft muted breadiness. There's a soft, subtle, earthy pepperiness around the palate. Mixing with a kind of a floral tonality. See, earthy pepperiness, a little bit of floral. I want to say there's a little bit of a hint of a softest, very, very faint, softest pine mixing in with that earthy pepperiness that's kind of like coating the palate. A little bit of zesty, again, zesty grapefruit, zesty lemon, kind of white grapefruit and a uh, little bit of <coughs> lemon kind of zest breathing through.
It is a perfectly drinkable beer. <laughs> it's one of those ones. That, this is nice. Easy drinking. I, I think they're just making beer to drink. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> For a brewing company to make beer just to drink as much as humanly possible. It actually reminds me of the beer I got at Anomaly Brewing Company. Damn fine, solid as shit, textbook, boom boom, nothing bad, tastes good, drink it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm kind of getting out of this. The workhorse of the brewing world. You just make beer to drink. Uh, for an IPA, this is perfectly fine. <clears throat> New England style, again, it's a misnomer. Misappropriation of terms. It's not a New England style IPA at all. So you rate it up against some of the heavy hitters in the New England style category. But I'm going to fall a little short. Um, IPA category, it is. <coughs> this to me tastes like a nice pale ale. It's softly hopped, and with the New England style IPA category, the bitterness is low, which is good. But the sweetness isn't there, and the body doesn't feel like it's there. It's a bit thin. So it's one of those ones where it's like, eh, 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 you know what I mean? It's right stuck in the middle. You can't go one way or the other, you know what I mean? To me, I would find this to be a fantastic pale ale. Really nice sessionable. It's a very nice sessionable, easy drinking, slightly fruity, slightly citrus fruity, um, IPA or slash pale ale. So there it is. I'm going to give it a solid score. That's what I'm going to do because it's not this, but it's not that, but it's not this, but it's not that. It is completely crushable, easy drinking, non-offensive, slightly fruity, well-made beer. <laughs> so... I'm getting IPA vibes, but I'm also getting pale ale vibes. I'm not getting New England style IPA vibes. However, there is, it's it's higher on the fruit than very mild on the bitterness. So that makes sense too. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'm going to go solid. Boom, 7.5 all day long. I'll give it a fucking 8. I have no problem giving this 8. This is a nice beer. If I had four more, they would be drank immediately. I'm not, I'm not against this beer at all. It's quite nice. It is interesting that they put that classic style down. To me, this is a classic, I, I, let's just say East Coast IPA. Textbook solid, classic style. You know, this is what IPAs were before New England IPAs were in existence. It was a citrus forward, easy drinking, mildly bitter, um, slightly bready, slightly hazy because of the you know the hop haze and stuff beer and that's what this is so uh, again uh, just get just erase the word new england and just put in the same font put classic classic i india pale ale you got it right there classic east I mean, if you want to put east coast east coast you know, classic East Coast India Pale Ale. Boom, done. You know what I mean? You fucking nailed it. I don't know. It's eight, I'll give this eight out of ten. It's really good. I talked a lot about it. I'm not trying to poo-poo it. I actually really like it. I wish I could have a four pack of this. Duh. It's just not. You know, get misnomers, uh, misappropriation of terms, rather. All right. Fucking good. I like this. Thanks. Ooh. Definitely not amazing, but good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, this is Paul's favorite. Is cheers. Watch that finger. Here he comes. <whistles> bye bye.